Hey, hey, jeez! Welcome back to my Cowboy Bebop reactions. We're gonna be watching episode 22 today. And last time, last time, we met Jet's friend's daughter. And uh, she was cute, she was great, and then uh, she's a fan of Feng Shui. And then uh, we had to look for dad. And because uh, apparently they think they thought that he died, but he wasn't dead. He's like stuck in like some kind of time warp thingy, whatever machine. Not machine, uh, time whatever. <laughs> In the in the space gates, and then um, yeah, so we found him through the use of some feng shui mumbo jumbo, and then um, afterwards we just kind of yeah like daddy. You remember when daddy wasn't sexualized? I said the same thing. Why am I saying it again? But and um, yeah, I like jet episodes a lot. <laughs> um, so that was one of my favorite episodes. So we're just gonna watch the next one because uh, I don't have much to say. We're near the end. Uh, there's a poll up on my Patreon telling uh, on what to replace this. So please check that out if you have like a dollar. So yeah, you can join. And then uh, yeah, if you... so, there's gonna be two versions of this reaction video: a picture and picture version, which you can find in the description below, and time based version, which you're watching right now. If you want to sync up your own media to the time based version, you can do that with the 5 second countdown. It's gonna count down from 5 because that's what they do. And it's yours the same thing. My video starts playing on the screen. Uh, I need to write something down. Give me a moment. Um, this is 22. Okay. <clears throat> Still, I don't know what's up with my snot on my mucus. It's, it's really gross. And I have a lot of it in my system right now. It's been weeks since I've had it. Like two weeks, I think. So it's really annoying. <laughs> Okay, timer will go I hear. I was on cue. That was awesome. If you're watching this on a PAP discussion, we'll be back over on YouTube really about it. You can check those out. Thank you to our patrons to get this video so a week early in advance. If you want to get that, check out the description. There's also a poll right now on what to replace this show. So yeah. Let me just get comfortable. It's kind of cold right now. It's a lot of rain. Rainy season is upon me. It's upon us. By the way, I had like a. I finally got the program to have the surround sound, the noise canceling stuff. I forgot to put it in. Now I have it. And, and I can't hear myself whenever there's music like this. <laughs> That's why I do this a lot more often now. <laughs> Ha, ah, let's see what's not gonna happen. What's up? Ooh, that is a building. <laughs> what did I just say? That is an interesting design for a building, that's what I meant. So 22. That is a stuffed animal. Is that like a bomb inside a stuffed animal? That's long ass escalators. <laughs> nice <laughs> hotel prison oh you know about him nice who's Andy 
Andy. What the frick? Yeah, it's probably a bomb, right? Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Ooh, ooh. Again, I freaking love it when a uh, spike fights hand to hand. Oh my god, just caught it? Nice. Oh my god. Whoa. Well, what an extremist. <laughs> a horse, of course. A horse. Oh, that's Andy. He's on a horse. Oh my god, he's dapper as fuck. <laughs> what? What do they call you? No, it's, it's it's not. Ha! <laughs> no, it's. I agree on that one. <laughs> He's escaping. Oh my god! Right in the neck! What did I tell you, Andy? Andy's kind of an idiot. <laughs> ah, Andy. I think I'm gonna love this Andy guy. He <laughs> got stepped on by the horse. I can't read it. Sup, Cowboy Funk? Is that it? Cowboy Funk? That's great. <laughs> What's up with the uh, eyes? <laughs> wow! 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 The YMCA. Why? Sorry. Young Men's Cowboy Association. What a name. Of course, Faith. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of Spike. Kinda like Spike. Except Spike's instincts are a lot better, I guess. Nice ass shot on that bunny girl. <laughs> Furries! I spat, sorry. Yep. Oh, I thought it was a furry party. Is this guy? Oh my god, what is up with your hair? That's the same hair that the eyes was using. <laughs> mm. 
Baby? What? Warning about what? Is that Andy? It's Andy on a on a horse on an elevator. Fuck. I wonder why. Onyx, what a great name. Chess. Blow shit up again. What's up, Faye? What's up, Faye? Haha! <laughs> uh, really getting into character there, uh, Jet. What are you gonna do, Faye? I know you're not gonna abandon us. You're not gonna turn traitor. That is a fast horse! Oh okay, wait, never mind. It's actually a very fast car. Never mind. What the fuck are you aiming at? What the fuck, dude? Andy, you ran past him. I love this guy. <laughs> He's an idiot, and it's great. Oh, that's cool. Boing, 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 boing. What? The music there was weird. Is that uh, Andy's theme or something? That fits him <laughs> perfectly well. Cleavage. <laughs> oh, you mean the place. Son of a gun, Stu. <laughs> These are so rich. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's basically a rich Spike, also an idiot Spike. Spike's kind of an idiot, but not this kind of an idiot. Not that much of an idiot. Spike is smart. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Ayn still wants it. Ayn, not Ayn. I keep calling him Ayn. <laughs> yes. TV. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Serial bombings are fun. He's gonna go for it. <laughs> Hey! You're gonna go after Andy? Okay, help me Ted Bomber, whatever your name is. Ah! I get a feeling we're never gonna get that. We're never gonna get why. You left your horse! Oh, you're actually teaming up! Excuse me! I feel like I need to take a shit. That's why I've been quiet for a few seconds. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, you two are alike. Yep. Yep. His loss is cool. That's the thing about Spike, he never loses his cool. Oh my god. It's tense. And kaboom! Wow! 
What do you mean with that? Nice. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Break his nose. Nice. Ha! <laughs> Climbed on him. Yeah. Three million. Was it million? Was it three million? I farted. Sorry about that. What? And to end, let's go. Just fist, fist the cups, let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Excuse me, let's pat again. Spike, you're better than this. Spike, you're better than this. You can do this. Oh my god. Excuse me. You win. What the hell? Yay! Hello, the horse got there by by itself. What? What is up with this guy? I'm gonna. Oh yeah, yeah! <laughs> See ya, space cowboy. Well, that was an episode. Oh, there's still more left. You were losing. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you gave her gave her the cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah. We're never gonna hear it. Are we gonna hear it? Okay. He's an extremist. <laughs> He's a samurai! Jiromaru is the name of your horse now. What the fuck? <laughs> it's okay, dude. What the fuck? Oh, I wanna talk about that. Anishita ego nageku niwa. If you want to baby discussions, we'll be back over on YouTube. It's gonna be timestamps leading you directly to it. Nada katoro no hokoro biwo. It's in a mount kazega fuiteru. 
が湧いた瞳で誰か泣いてくれ。ブルーフォーブルースホーンとの悲しみが知りたいだけ。川に姿。人生も悪くはない。ニューヨーキーリで終わるなら。That's all about this episode. Ah,、uh, there's no, uh, I think, right, right? Nope. I like the fact that this is called Cowboy Funk, I think is the title. That's really cool. And then,、uh, we got introduced to Andy, who is like one of those characters that we're never gonna meet again, I'm assuming. But,、uh, he's fun. <laughs> I freaking love him. <laughs> I freaking love him.、Um, so, we first got introduced to this guy, who's obviously a bomber, like, leaving behind. Uh, something that looks very innocent to make it so that、uh, it's actually a bomb. So、uh, that's a very classic move to do.、Uh, I remember that very specifically because of Moharu Pengu Drum, which I watched on the channel. It's,、uh, when I watched Moharu Pengu Drum, it really felt like that because、uh, that's one of the things that happened there. Sorry, spoilers. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> And I'm a guy that really d o n t like my spoilers whenever they're said to me. But sometimes I randomly say spoilers without realizing it, so I'm sorry about that. But, anyways, this guy, I like the joke of we're never or almost never gonna hear it until the very end why he's doing all this. And I kind of want to talk about something interesting in terms of philosophies in this episode because I get the feeling that we're trying to tell like a narrative, not a narrative, like a lesson here. And that is the idea that. Uh, this guy is an extremist that wants, that is against, that is. This guy is an extremist that is anti capitalistic. And then、um, he believes that、uh, the, the world should know that、uh, they're destroying the earth and all that stuff. They're being greedy and all that. And then there's someone like Andy, who is rich as all fuck. Like, probably someone that he would hate entirely, becomes someone that is like a, like a slave to his passions. Like, Someone that wants to do something greater than just, than just what money he has. And then it's a great combination of two characters that were introduced in this episode because one is like completely against the whole idea of just how money works, and then one is against the idea of、uh, becoming stagnant when he has money, he has an abundance of it. And that's a really interesting combination to have. So, I like that. I really like that. Also, Andy is just hilarious. <laughs> like, I, you can't tell me,、uh, it's, it's headcanon now, that、um, Andy killed a bunch of people in this episode by accident. I just assume that. <laughs> like, <laughs> and this guy also probably killed a bunch of、uh, pastors, by, bystanders by accident because he's blowing up shit. But he did mention that he doesn't want to kill anyone. And it does make sense because、uh, a lot of the explosions were at places where、uh, there's not really that much people, where people gather. So、um, that makes sense that it really felt like he's not intentionally trying to kill anyone. But you can't tell me that doing serial bombings isn't gonna kill anyone. Like, <laughs> he did enough to make it so that he's more than likely killed a few people. Even if he's very、uh, particular and yeah, about where he places his bombs.、Um, Andy being an idiot and being like, you're the culprit is like really stupid. But again, he's a, he's a slave to his passions. He literally just is narrow minded. Like he doesn't really look at a bigger picture. He just thinks that I want to do this one thing, therefore I'm going to do this one thing. And then、uh, that's why when、uh, they meet up again with Spike, it's like, He's still thinking about Spike in that manner because it's like that.、And、yeah, it's really cool.、Um, also, the whole idea of destroying the monoliths of capitalism is an interesting thing because I, I can see people doing that. I can see terrorists, actual terrorists, 
in the world that we live in doing that. I can definitely think of a few examples. I don't know if I should say it because you know YouTube is weird about these kinds of things. So, so yeah, um, the whole thing of destroying buildings and monoliths, if you will, that's the word that he used for yeah. Uh, it's like a symbolic destruction, uh, even though it's also literal. <laughs> ah, and these refreshing. I do, I do like the whole joke of. You and, and Andy and Spike are very much alike and it's really hilarious to be honest because they are they're they're kind of like very free spirits and that's the biggest reason why uh, Spike can be kind of annoying as a, not as a character but as a as a friend as a teammate in this bebop <laughs> it's because he's way too free of a spirit and he does things that cause trouble for people so that's the same thing that um, Andy's doing, except it's slightly different because of uh, his reasons and uh, his background and because he's also kind of a lot stupider <laughs> he's also stupider than um freaking Spike <laughs> but, but Spike has his stupid moments as well also I quite like that Edward immediately knows this also who holds their keyboard like that? am I gonna be considered a genius if I hold a keyboard like that? because Edward is a genius I'm gonna start doing that I can't pull it out because I can't pull it out. The uh, I was gonna pull out my keyboard and do the same thing, but uh, I forgot that it's uh, it has a short wire. So yeah, um, I do like the face initial responses. Wow, he's handsome. Like yeah, we get it, Faye. Uh, whenever you think about Faye, it's interesting because I thought she was gonna be like. The annoying, kinda useless character that is literally just there to be the girl in the group. But she's really not. She's really not. She's very useful. And I don't mean that in the, oh, she's actually strong and she does these things and old female characters should be strong like that. No, I don't mean it that way. I mean in the, she's useful in the narrative. Like, her being in this, spa in this space and her doing the things that she, do in that she does in that space makes perfect sense to be there and that's kind of the biggest reason why I didn't like Sakura or at first I didn't like Sakura I didn't finish Naruto so maybe maybe Sakura becomes really really good but uh, apparently some people said that she gets really good um, uh, but yeah that's why I didn't like her in the beginning because she's like I, her being in the narrative doesn't make sense so <laughs> she's just there to be a girl and then uh, that's why I didn't like it and Faye is also, the same goes for Edward, actually. Like, uh, she's there uh, a lot of the times if we have a character like Edward, she's there to be the lolly. She's there to be the young the young girl because we need a young girl. That is, a But no, again, her existence in this narrative space makes perfect sense and I quite like it. Okay, let's go back to the episode. Uh, I freaking love the fact that Ayn was wearing... <laughs> uh, where is that? I can't find it. Ah. Here we go! I was wearing a wig, and that same wig was where, uh, something that Jet wore in the masquerade. It's great. I don't get this scene. Is this supposed to be simply like Faye being her seductor self? <laughs> uh, being like. Also, there's so much fake cleavage in this episode. I just wanna say that right now. There's so much fake cleavage, and this is like a boob window. <laughs> Uh, okay, I mean, okay, that's one thing that, that might be an issue when I talk about Faye because as I said, she makes perfect sense to be here, but uh, the fact that uh, we actually also use her to just show boobs is, uh, is, is, a, is a bit of a demerit, <laughs> but uh, I, I don't mind it to be perfectly honest. It's, it, again, it, it doesn't really necessarily make sense for it to be there, but it's definitely something that's okay or at most welcome. Sometimes it's welcome because you know it makes sense that she's being a seductress and everything. Um, yeah, I don't get this part because uh, she's like, "Oh, someone's gonna bomb this place." By the way, uh, if if that if someone says that at a party like a party like this of this size, I w like uh, there's gonna be some issues. <laughs> there's gonna be some issues. Um, Also, I like the fact that he, wear, he wore a teddy bear outfit. Like, 
very <laughs> tactful. <laughs> Not really. Um, and then this guy just points a gun at Jet and Spike. And then we get the whole scene with a uh, chase scene. Very fun chase scene, by the way. I still think that uh, <laughs> I still think that Andy accidentally killed some people here. Also, there's some people going crazy here. Okay, you can't see my mouse. I'm encircling things. Sorry. But uh, guy saves his fruit. This guy's eating ramen. This guy's just carrying stuff. The kid's like, holy shit, explosions. That's badass. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the mother's like, okay, let's not look at the explosions, dear. That's great. And then we go through here. Like, poor taste. Like, I have to agree, this looks awful. Also, the horse eats off a... Uh, is that horse food on a bathtub? I don't know. It's too thin to be a bathtub, I think. Never mind. Son of a gun stew. Is there? Yeah, that's what, really what he said. It doesn't taste good. Um, this scene is to show that Faye doesn't really like this guy. <laughs> it's really good. Um, I don't want to eat this. Uh, also, the fact that um, Spike is very petty and petty enough to just not want to eat this even though he's starving because they don't have food anymore. <laughs> they don't have money for food anymore. Okay, give it to Ayn then. <laughs> Look at him. It's like, okay, give it to me. Um, okay, and then they're eating it. Okay. This show is classy fan service. Like, not overly sexual fan service, but it is still sexual fan service. Like, it's very classy. Um, I don't know how else to describe it besides classy. That's the best way I can describe it. I still need to take a shit. I'm gonna finish this discussion first. I like that uh, Spike is like, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Okay, help me out a tiny bit here. If I'm with you, then uh, Andy probably will come comes out soon. <laughs> and then they follow through, okay, and then do this. And then uh, he actually loses his school, and Spike kind of loses his school, but not as much as uh, Andy. So that's cool. Um, gets punched by Faye. Amazing. Okay. The fight between them was amazing. First of all, the wind blowing is amazing. I really like it. It's on once as well. Nice. Uh, something I mentioned multiple times in my reaction videos is I like it when things are animated to be being swayed by wind, specifically hair. So I like it this, especially the fact that they have similar hairstyles that are pretty long. Ooh, this is this is just badass, especially when they start doing hand to hand combat. Wonk. This this feels very Jackie Chan esque the way he did that did that like uh, in movies where uh, Jackie Chan uses like things around him to do to do damage or to deflect certain things. Yeah, which is great because uh, apparently. Uh, Spike's fighting style is based on Bruce Lee's. And then he's like, boom! And then he's like, okay, I give up. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the fact that... Two more things, actually. First of all, the fact that now that um, Spike is like... Uh, one, sort of. <laughs> one, by, one because his, his phone is an idiot. Um, yeah, it's like, oh, it's just a rich boy's hobby. He doesn't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Let's not do this. Okay, it's like, we moved all his pettiness anymore. And then the last thing I want to talk about is this guy. Jiro Maru! <laughs> he decided to become a samurai. Also, the fact that uh, Faye and uh, Jet were like, you know, he could have been a samurai instead of a freaking cowboy. That would be a lot more interesting. Because... I do like that little bit there because it's like, you know, your writing needs work. You need to be better at writing your characters. <laughs> I think we're done. I need to take a shit. I'm gonna do that after this. So, that is it for me for now. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion, we can already do that. Everyone else, you can do that at the page link below. It really help out if you don't have to do it again. It'll really help out. Yay, thanks. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff, and bye! -bye.